Hello. Today I would like to show you something amazing that I recently managed to get working. And this is a PRC-10 radio. This is American Army FM Manpack radio. But I would like to dedicate this video to the fellow ham radio operator. His call sign is a Kilo 4 Charlie Hotel Echo and he have a website dedicated about the green radios and he have a big section about a PRC-10 I found a lot of information without him I won't be able to make it working he's got like all common problems, fixes, schematic all the information that you basically need to create your own battery because it's using the high voltage for the analog supply of the tubes so it's not that easy to to just plug and play and you have to do a little 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 job to make it working so yes i recommend you the link for, for his website will be in the description and let's take a look on that radio so as you can see this is the front panel and We've got basically a three radios that are looking the same and there are called PRC8, PRC9 and PRC10 and over here you can see the only difference will be a frequency so of course the only difference is everything inside like the inductors, coil capacitors all of them will be different but radio will look the same but have a different frequency we've got a PRC-10 which is a tactical VHF band and it was used for the infantry and that's how it looks like it's a FM radio it has about 1 watt of output power you can use for the transmitting and receiving the external antenna via a BNC port which is located over here you can tune the frequency freely it does not have any channel spacing like on most modern radios you can just crank the dial and select any frequency I don't know why it was made that way maybe there was a problem with the stability and just the radio operator have to manually tune so if you've got like the 40 megahertz it might be a little bit offset and the radio operator maybe for his hearing need to need to adjust the frequency maybe they wasn't that stable like modern radios that was based on the transistors because that radio is fully operated on tubes there is not a single transistor inside which is which is a very nice over here we've got a two ports for the web antenna we've got a 2.4 meters long long whip antenna which is a base section that screw inside and touch that element and the short antenna which looks uh, very similar to the one used on the PRC-77 but they have completely different thread so you are unable to to exchange them so you have to use exactly the antenna that was dedicated for the PRC-10 over here we've got something interesting which is called light cap and you might wonder what's that I was, was thinking hey what's that element and this is just a cover for a bulb that is lighting the scale so if the, the bulb will be not working it will be burned you just replace the bulb and it's under that cap over here we've got our tuning which is done freely you can just adjust this element over here is a lock 
that you can prevent from accidentally from accidentally changing the frequency and on the other section we've got our volume adjustment and we've got our squelch this is based on the carrier squelch there is no tone decoding just the standard carrier squelch depending on the level of the signal and this is our main power switch right now we are off we can set to the to the remote for the retransmission we've got our on position and calibration and the dial light so we can see in the in the dark I don't think you can see what the it's too much light but it's working you can see the scale after going to this position as you can hear the radio is hissing that's because we've got the volume adjustment to the maximum level we can adjust to the the signal level the threshold and as you can hear we are quiet and we are open in the scotch circuitry and basically that's all you do not need to do anything else you just attach your whip antenna or the bnc set the frequency and you can press the ptt and make a conversation that's how looks the handset looks very rugged and the first thing that uh, also we've got a very interesting connector this is not the standard plug that's how it looks like as you can see we've got a multiple pins and the name of the plug is the U77 that's the, the connector name and that, that's our only the input output you press it downward and and rotate that radio was used in the German army you can see that all the labels are in German but that's absolutely no problem because this is very easy radio to operate and if you take a look over here the lot of space is taken by the battery and if we if we remove the battery this radio is going to be really small it's little bit uh, less thick than the PRC 77 which I actually like because it better fit to the backpack and you've got uh, still plenty of room let me show you the battery that I have to create myself okay so this is the connector I done for the battery this is uh, the back over here there was a plug that was looking like this for a single use batteries but you cannot buy a working battery and steal the, the cables they were in that condition, the insulation was was failing off everywhere and I was afraid that it's going to destroy the radio so I just use that plug, I, I would like to use something different like a computer DB, DB9 but I didn't have it in my hand so I used the old style DIN plug they also can be put only in the one way, one correct way and we've got a couple different voltages 
over there. This is a pack of the 9 volt batteries. How to how to wire that? You can read from the description of the the website that I put in put in the bottom. We've got over here a couple of uh, nine point five volt cells, and that's all. That's all from the technical feelings. And as you can see, after removing the battery, this is a really small really small unit if we put like a inverter we can really reduct the size and weight and it's hard to tell that this is not a transistor radio from from its size and what's the most brilliant is the way how you are going to open this for a service you just grab this two straps and you are opening them they are quite hard because they give you an insulation and you just open your radio for maintenance as you can see there is a connector similar to that one on on just the radio itself so that's all. You just take out all your radio and you've got access to the all components. And I'm just going to show you how nicely it's made. So this is our output stage. As you can see we've got only tubes not a single transistor we got our air capacitors and over there we've got a very small tubes they're just protected against the shock you can see one of them is not covered in the insulation we got also tubes over there they just look small more standard one this is the squelch relay that I was need to repair and replace you can see that there is a lot of mechanical from the tuning dial and on the bottom here we've got our modules they are clearly labeled like oscillator, mixer second stage you've got also information about the tubes there's a whole set of them and the person of the of the website was showing you how to how to repair the modules we've got another relay we've got our tuning dial and another look for the for the tubes so that's how it looks like as you can see it's really small really small device And putting back is also extremely easy. You just lock them in place, and your PRC 10 is ready to go. So if we create like an inverter power supply, we can cut the size at least in half. So yes, <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed that video and look at the inside and outside of the PRC-10 radio. Thank you very much for watching, see you next time and bye bye.